And before I go, look at how beautiful that is. Oh. Bruh, the food, I, the afternoon tea I ate in the car still is a bit high, but we got very, very high up. Nah, bye. Hey guys, so I thought I would just talk you through this morning. So basically, someone asked for a morning routine, so I was like, you know what, I'll just kind of show you what I do. I really don't have a morning routine. Like, I do not do that much in the morning or night. So I'll get up and make my bed. I All I do to get ready is put on some moisturizer, which is what I just showed, and then my deodorant. I use this natural tea tree deodorant. That's like a roll-on. I used to use spray deodorant. But then I just learned about how your body absorbs everything that's put onto your skin and I didn't want to put any of those chemicals onto it. I put on a little bit of mascara some days, that's the only piece of makeup that I own and sometimes I'm like, better do something so I don't look homeless or dead. And then I get changed and most days I'll just wear like active wear because I'll be training after and I want to just be wearing what I want to wear to training so I don't have to like carry other clothes around or get changed in the day, I prefer to just wear the one outfit all day. So yeah, so I just put on training stuff because I had training that night, or this night I should say, um, to wear to uni. Good morning guys, so I am really tired. Uni is back and I just haven't been on top of getting a good sleep, getting good sleep. I'm someone who needs a lot of sleep so anyway I thought I'd just film you know a random day in the life when I have uni so today I have uni and then after uni I go straight from there to training and I coach first for an hour and then I have training not gonna lie I look homeless more often than not I wear trackies and a tracksuit pretty much most days I have training after uni or maybe before and after not at the moment today the campus I'm at I drive to so the city campus the main campus I'll get the train but today I'm not there, so I'll drive, which is good because then I can drive straight to train from there. In like, I'll leave my training bag in the car and I'll just have like trackies, an extra jacket, my shoes, my runners. I have my spikes and a roller and mat in the car and stuff like that. So that's all my training stuff, it's just going to be in the car. And then to uni, I'm going to take this bag, I'll show you what I take. I actually only got it the other day and it's literally so awesome. So it kind of looks really cool. I'm gonna quickly give you a little rundown of it. Whenever I go somewhere, I took so much stuff to school and I take a lot of stuff to uni. I take way more than I need sometimes, but I have my computer. Sometimes I have a textbook. I have a binder with like the pages and stuff that I need. And I just have so much food as well. And also like a jacket. Like I carry a water bottle with me. I usually have a tea and then just like my wallet, so many things. I My backpack is always too big and I end up carrying something and it's really annoying. It's like bursting at the seams. This backpack is huge. I think it's like meant for like hiking, but I use it for like uni and I would use it for training as well because it's really good like that. But it's like, that's the brand. So I think that logo kind of looks cool. And it looks like this. It The cool thing about it is you can also turn it around and use it like this have a duffel bag and it came with like extra straps that I can also attach like there and there before I get started someone asked me like oh can you do a morning and night routine so I kind of give you the gist of that but I don't have like a proper morning routine or night routine like normally okay so normally when I have uni like I start pretty early on other days like I'll have to leave at like 6 30 and so like for example yesterday I had to leave at 6 30 and get the train so I had packed everything the night before I packed like my breakfast or the first meal I had and everything because I just get up and go so all I did was like get changed and do what I did this morning like put on some moisturizer get changed and go but in the first lecture I like ate my breakfast at one point and then like that was I didn't have like a morning routine and then like usually I come home from training late in the night and I literally just like unpack my training bag quickly have a shower and then have dinner, do a little bit of homework, and then chill for a little bit, and then go to sleep and brush my teeth at some point. Um, and I brush my teeth in the morning too. 
but that's like what I do. I don't really have a set out routine, but yeah. So today I don't have an earlier lecture because our very first lecture is like, our lectures are two hours pretty much. And our first one today, our lecturer decided he was going to do them online for the first five weeks. So I did that last night, which took me so long because I just like do things really in depth and like kept pausing it and writing notes and like rewatching stuff. So I don't have to go at this time. I start late. I start at 11. So I'm going to show you what I did this morning. I'm literally just going to make breakfast, pack my bag and then go. <laughs> tea I always have a tea every morning and I have my vitamins the days I have uni I put my tea in my tea me flask yesterday I had this loose leaf lemon sorbet tea from t2 and today I'm having Japanese GMC sencha which is a green tea and one of my favorites also from t2 yesterday I took my vitamins in this this little pink bit under here unscrews and there's like you can store things in there and today I just had them now so I try to have like a but um a bottle of water and a tea in the morning. I lashed in some banana. Okay, I just went and printed my lecture slides for today and I just made it so it's like four slides per page. I don't normally do this. I usually just type up my notes in the lecture as I do it. But because this lecture is like a lot of maths, it's just better to do this way because then I can you know, write the working out on that. Okay, so I have my wallet down the bottom there, I have my binder, and in this back pocket here I put my laptop and I put my AirPods in there. The good thing I really like about this bag is it can be bursting at the seams, but this is elastic so it still comes out and fits a water bottle. So I pack my lunch. So in the lecture I just have like a bunch of veggie sticks to snack on and an apple and then for lunch I usually will take rice with heaps of veggies and then either chicken or an egg and maybe some avo if we have any but when my mum bakes veggies so yesterday my mum baked a whole bunch of veggies so I had leftover baked purple sweet potato and baked sweet potato so I have that and some baked cauliflower that so there's just heaps of veg at the bottom you can't really see there's chicken baked cauliflower broccoli carrot spinach some snow peas and purple sweet potato so i just put those guys in there i have this little pencil case with a couple of things actually i'm gonna put this in the front because i know i'm gonna need it in this lecture and a calculator i also packed a little afternoon tea because as i said i'm going straight to training and i don't get home till like eight after that because i'm at training for a couple of hours and i'm coaching so i'm packing a banana and this little box which i put in some almonds and i medjool date with some natural peanut butter so I'll pack that and yeah. So I just like made them really quick. So they're really unattractive and not the greatest, but I basically just cooked them on the stove, grated in some zucchini. I added maca powder, cheese seeds, pumpkin seeds, and I topped it with banana, strawberries. Oh, there's also frozen raspberries and blueberries I mixed in there. Then a little bit of almond butter, a little bit of peanut butter, and then some hemp seeds and chia seeds. No, hemp seeds and flax seeds on top of all of that. So that's brekkie. I actually did a proper like filming my recipe for my oats which I edited and then put on my hard drive which has all of my stuff from the last like 19 years of my life and my hard drive broke. I'm currently getting that fixed but it's costing a lot of money and ugh, anyway that's another story. Like it still looks like delicious but it's just like a mess and a bit ugly. One of the reasons I wanted to film this vlog today is because I got sent some jewelry from this jewelry brand called Julia, I think it's pronounced. And I wanted to like open it and show you guys today. I got sent this box. Basically they emailed me saying, hey, would you be able to pick something and um, you know, post a photo, like promote their jewelry basically. But you can pick anything you want. So I went through their website and they have some really cool stuff. Like it was really nice and I, it was different as well. And I was like, it took me ages to pick what I wanted. Like, I had to narrow it down. I actually went through all the... I, like, picked all the different things I liked. Then I narrowed it down by, like, like culling it down. 
And then I went through the ones that I was like, couldn't pick between and looked at all the reviews and people had posted photos with their jewelry. And I did that because sometimes like, you know, the, these places online, you, you order stuff and it does not look like how it does in the pictures, but the people that posted reviews, it looked better than in the pictures. So I was like, okay, this is it getting even harder. Anyway, I ended up picking two things. I got a pair of earrings and a ring. So I'm going to open it and see what it looks like now and show you guys. It was pretty much the similar price of like where people get jewelry from now. So I know a lot of people get Pandora and stuff like that. It was like a similar price, but it was so different and real there was some really nice stuff. But the cool thing about it is like when you get stuff from Pandora, which is beautiful, I love it. But some of the stuff, like pretty much every second girl has the same ring. So it's cool to find new jewelry brands where you could get you know, nice jewelry that not every, not every girl under the sun has it. So this is what the box looks like. So this is the box. It has a little fifth anniversary sticker there. So they started in 2014. So they have this little book with their jewelry. Like there's things that are affordable, a similar pack. And then there are things that are more ex on the more expensive side. So it just depends what you go for. Okay, so I just really quickly ate my breakfast and then I wanted to properly give justice to this jewelry. So I thought I'd quickly set up now to show you guys. So the first thing I got was these earrings. So I'm going to try them on, but basically I was looking through the photos on the website and these were like beautiful. I, they're like, I love how they're like drop dangly earrings. So I'll try them on. I'll probably have to take out some of my seconds and stuff oh my gosh these are so cool I love them oh my gosh I don't know if I'm showing it very well but I love these so it's like oh they're so nice um this jewelry is really flattering like as I said when I was on their website I looked at customer reviews to see the photos that they posted to see if like the quality was as good as the photos and it was better like it was just flattering stuff so it's like these stars with little crystals in it and then different lengths of um I don't know what to call that but different lengths of stars coming down there so I should probably put both in to show you guys but yeah so I thought this jewelry brand was so cool because it was like it had so many different things it had engagement rings but then it also just had like affordable rings for like $30 that were really cool it had a lot of mermaid stuff um like mermaid necklaces that was really pretty they were cool and it had like charms that were different I liked them but um yeah there were so many different things there were so many really cool rings so there were two rings that I really couldn't choose between I'll show you the one I ended up getting because it was like hectic and and it was just like a really nice color and it was from their mermaid range as well so they have like a mermaid range like opal colors and when you get stuff from their mermaid range i think they donate some of it to like a ocean charity i'll have to find out if that's right that's with both rings earrings in so these are kind of really beautiful like, it'd be so nice to just, like, wear out somewhere. You could run in them, I guess. I I would actually leave them in today. I'm actually really loving these earrings. Like, they're so nice. They're so different. So, this is called the Tassel Star Sterling Silver Ear Jackets. So, a good thing about spending a little bit more for jewellery for people who spend, like, no more than 20 bucks. Um, which is what I used to do. I'd prefer to just get like one real, one more expensive piece of jewelry than have like heaps of different $20 rings. The good thing about spending more on jewelry is that it's better quality and it's like not going to get infected. It doesn't go green and this is sterling silver. So it's not going to like make your skin go green or anything. And then these rings are called the Mermaid Teardrop Stackable Opal Ring Set. It's these two rings that are stackable. So I'm going to just try them on. So it goes like one, two. Okay, so this finger is too small. So I might have to take off my OG turtle ring just to try it on on a bigger finger. So I have quite like Voldemort thin skinny fingers. I think they've gotten bigger though since I've like gotten 
a bit put on a bit of weight i haven't let myself go or anything for new people i have just had to gain weight because i was very underweight and now i cannot get this ring off holy shit i can't get this ring off okay so it kind of fits on this one well so it's like this so it's like that part i haven't taken the tag off just in case i need a different size because i might need a smaller one and then that's the top please focus so this is the mermaid teardrop stackable opal ring so it's like got opals it's like kind of stunning the opals i feel like this isn't giving it justice it's like a really pretty ring i really like it i just want to i'm going to try it on on this finger so to see if it really fits i might have to tell them that it's a bit too big and get a smaller one or i could use it as a thumb ring that's kind of cute I really love the colours, like that's one of the main reasons I was like so drawn by my, this ring. I'm just going to go and try and get this turtle ring off. Okay, well that was really scary, that ring was not coming off, like look at my finger right now, it's like, I don't know, this one finger is like a bit bigger than all the others, so it's going to probably fit on this one. Sorry about my awkward finger now, it's like just being attacked by pulling that ring off. So that's one of the parts of it, that's actually honestly stunning on its own. Look how, let me twist this around, so. I like never take my rings off as well. Like I literally never take them off. That's why it was so hard to get the turtle ring off. So that's what it looks like on its own, I think. So that's the top bit. So that's the ring. So that's really pretty too. Basically, that's the jewelry from Julia. So it's honestly stunning. It's I love it. I'm not just doing that because they sent me free jewelry. I'm honest. Like if it wasn't nice, I would say it's not the best. But it's really good. Like if I wanted to buy jewelry, I would definitely. There were some other things that I was like, I really want that. So I would like if I was getting, you know, a birthday present or something, I'd say, oh, like I like this on this website because it's got really nice jewelry, and I don't know other people that wear it. So so definitely check them out because i love their stuff it's so nice and different and it's really good quality as well but yeah so thank you so much to julia they are having a sale right now because it's their fifth year anniversary so i'll put the link to their website in the description box below and yeah so gonna go brush my teeth now and keep going on with today And before I go, look at how beautiful that is. That is the, oh my God, what happened to my, can't pull that. Anyway. I think I'm going to take it off right now and not wear it today because I'm not sure if I might need a smaller size because it only fits on this finger, but that's the ring, the stackable ring. so pretty though i love it my trusty awesome bag also guys i have a discount code for this backpack place i'll also put this in the description box below but like i freaking recommend this like i'm using it as a backpack so i literally just have all training stuff dumped in the back here so basically if I need something, I'm sure there'll be something there. Okay, I left the earrings in because I love them. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I have the feeling that I've forgotten something. It's like, <sighs> I know I haven't, but I just have that feeling. I will see you guys later. I just found a poor little dead butterfly. Also, I had to park so freaking far. So let's hope I make it in time. I have eight minutes. Yeah, it's just my friend Daryl. <laughs> I'm like try trying not to like noticeably like vlog so in a. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Sure like <laughs> no, that doesn't even. <laughs> like anatomy. Project. Wait, where'd you see my ring? Oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the time, you can construct. Okay, we're just gonna find my one RM right now. <laughs> 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 
What do you guys think of our course, by the way? Like, I like it. Like, it's hard though. Sports science. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, but like, easy, but... I don't want. I don't like when people think, oh, like, oh, you do a sport subject is easy. No, yeah, it's I'm hard. like, it's like biomedical science like, and like yeah, physics. Yeah, I, I do more than once. I'll just see how many can do it. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. So you can do six. Six reps. No, no. Is it two kilos? No, because I could only do one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Damn it. Up, 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 up. Come on, you can probably do two. Come on, up, up, up. Up, up. Go, Imogen. Come on, come on. Yes. Okay, like. One more. More. Jesus. I'm not kidding. Yeah. We're out here in the library. <laughs> yeah, I'm that weird person. So I just went to the library, I ate my lunch and like studied for a while and then now so I'm coaching and then training so I thought I would do a quick little training update. I mentioned that my coach basically and I made the decision that I needed to get to a healthier weight before I could be in a normal program. So I have mentioned how my training has been modified until I get to a healthy weight for me. My coach wants me to be a few kilos heavier before I'm into a full normal program because it's intense training and she was like look Amy I don't want you to progress and then I'll just like put all the training on you before you're a proper healthy way for you and then you just drop again because I still don't get a period of this weight etc but basically at the moment my training is now three days on the track with her so speed endurance one day speed and hurdles one day and tempo one day and I did my first tempo back last week and I died. Yeah, I did tempo for the first time since I took this recovery time break. And let me tell you, before I had this break, I had gotten so fit because I was training for like 800s and doing so much distance stuff. I was doing like, one of my tempos, for example, was like 15 200s. And I was doing that in like 34 second 200s on grass with like 90 seconds recovery between. I got so fit. I was doing like, my 5k run in like 19 minutes and I knew I would lose fitness by having this break which like sucked but I knew I had to do it as well because mentally so eating more mentally is so hard the amount extra I would have to eat to maintain on top of that training would be even more which would be ridiculous even though it sucked to like lose that bit of fitness and not be training and mentally it was really hard I knew I had to well I was still training but I knew I had to really reduce it and do the right thing for my body the lowest I was doing was two really short easy speed sessions with my coach and then my own gym stuff which I and made sure that I didn't do anything crazy and also one day with my strength coach at the moment my coach increased that so I, I'm doing three sessions with her and I'm allowed to do tempo and some endurance, like harder stuff, but it's still like not normal hard. Thursdays I've been doing tempo and I freaking died, but you got to start somewhere. And I know as I make, as I do the right thing and fuel myself and I'm a healthy weight rather than being underweight, I will feel better and be better at training and just feel better and be performing better and be more energetic. You know, even though you might like, I'm like, yeah, you got to 51, it's so good. I can start training. I am able to train more, I feel better. Someone might be watching that thinking, if it's so good, why don't you just eat more? Why is it such a like big thing to get to that weight? It's, trust me, even though it is, once you get there, you feel good about it. Um, it's hard to get there and it's hard to do and you don't always feel good about it, but you just remind yourself why it's so good and focus on the benefits from it, which are like, I can train well and yeah. So there are days when I don't eat enough and it sucks and I don't always feel great, but for the most part, I have obviously been 
eating more because I have gotten to a better weight. You have to eat as in surplus to gain weight. That's why you, I just could not be doing the intense training that I normally do or that I was doing because like my metabolism is just so high because of how much I have to eat when I have put on weight or like to maintain weight or even how much I was eating when I was losing weight. I, when I was doing my training, I, I was still eating like 2000 calories on some days. But for me, that's not enough because I was losing weight eating that much. Because I have a high metabolism, I, you know, do a lot of exercise, which burns a lot of calories. But I also have a lot a high muscle mass, which means my resting metabolic rate, even if I wasn't doing exercise, is higher than normal. Anyway, so that's just a quick update. I'm going to drive to training now. I need to, like, hit the road because I'll be late otherwise. And I have a snack, so my banana got a bit mashed, got a bit bruised and buttered, but banana and then the nuts and medjool date that I packed this morning. <laughs> Just finished training, didn't reach a vomit milestone, but I feel like I got close, I felt sick. And it was from the, I did the sprinters endurance, not the 400 sprinters endurance. So it's like something that used to be easy. Like it's what we used to do for speed, but bruh, the food, I, the afternoon tea I ate in the car still is a bit higher, but we got very, very high up. <laughs> No, I still don't feel good. And the car smells like banana because I left my banana peel in the car. No, nah, bye. So I got home just after 8. It's now like closer to 8.30 because I was talking to my mama. But yeah, I'm going to quickly have a shower and then I'll make myself some dinner. So this is my chill time. So I'll watch some Gossip Girl and relax. And then usually after I have my dinner and like chill out for a bit, I'll do homework for like an hour, maybe a bit less. But it's really late right now, so I'll just see how I go. But I just chucked together some stuff from the fridge. I have brown rice, a whole bunch of veggies, avocado. I boiled an egg, put some lemon on top. So that's what I'm gonna have for dinner. I usually would have like this and like at least two to three plates of something like this, but I'm honestly not that hungry right now. Um, obviously, I still need to eat, so I'll probably have more. But I think it's just because I, I did eat a lot the other day and I made sure I kept eating and I had snacks and I didn't go hungry. And which is a good thing. I rate these like baby sugar snap peas so much. Like they're so good. I love them. Also, I rate Chuck and Blair so hard together. Also, Nate is so gorgeous. Um, someone at training, Stuffy Milo, if you're watching this, told me that Dan is Gossip Girl. And I'm like... First of all, I hope that's not true. I'm only on season three, but like, don't spoil this for me, peoples. But also, like, um, Dan cannot be Gossip Girl. No, like, maybe Jenny, but not Dan. No, I don't believe it. Okay, it's like late, but I'm popping myself some corn kernels because snacking, you know. And I also just realized this is the last time in my life I'm gonna go to sleep and wake up. A teenager because oh my god I did not wipe that mascara off properly because tomorrow I'll wake up a teenager but then the next day when I go to sleep I'm gonna wake up and be old scary I'm scared I know so just got some popcorn and some nuts and a fancy cracker that my mum made I'm just gonna have that and another thing I like to do at this time of night is write a little planner like I'll make a list like a sticky note on my computer of just everything that I need to get done tomorrow so I'm you know, when I wake up, I know everything I have to get done the next day. And so I can be productive, like all the homework, training, everything. So yeah, good night guys. <laughs>